During the first phase of the cell cycle, G1, there is a chemical checkpoint that a cell must pass to begin the process that leads to cell division. The protein products of several tumor suppressor genes act at that checkpoint to control cell division. Cells with mutated forms of the tumor suppressor genes may not be able to stop the cell cycle at the G1 checkpoint, thus allowing them to grow and divide rapidly and form a tumor. One such tumor suppressor gene is the retinoblastoma, RB, gene. It is often found to be mutated in a form of cancer in the eye called retinoblastoma, as well as in many other cancers. Normally, the RB protein will bind to a transcription factor called E2F. Transcription factors are proteins that can activate gene expression. The G1 checkpoint is passed when special cell cycle proteins cyclin and CDK work together to free E2F from RB. The released transcription factor then activates genes that start the cell on the path to cell division. Mutated forms of RB may not bind to E2F, allowing E2F to act without control to promote cell division. Another tumor suppressor protein that works at the G1 checkpoint is P53. This protein checks for damaged DNA, acting as a quality control for the cell. If damage is detected, then P53 both activates a DNA repair system and halts the cell cycle at the G1 checkpoint until the damage is repaired. The halt is accomplished by turning on the gene for another protein, P21, that keeps cyclin and CDK from interacting. As long as cyclin and CDK cannot form a complex, the cell cannot pass through the G1 checkpoint. The P53 gene is found to be mutated in a wide variety of cancers. In these cases, P53 fails to turn on P21 and thus does not halt the cell cycle like it should when DNA is damaged.